All right, so it's time to talk about SGC and basically bombshell news that they dropped today that they're gonna be increasing prices from 20, their normal service from $25 to $75. It's a huge increase. And I believe that they've eliminated themselves from a viable grading company unless it's higher in things. As far as the flips, um, it's gonna be a lot harder to do that and it's gonna take a lot longer. And honestly, waiting for PSA makes the most sense right now for most people, unless you're trying to sell cards before the season, before basketball restarts for the next season. So the big issue that people are having now is like PSA, they're not grading anything unless you're going to do Super Express, which is $300, or you're going to do walkthroughs, which is about $600. Those are the two options that you have, but unless the card is going to you know, sell for much more than that, it's a waste of time. So then people are gonna look at BGS. Nobody knows what they're gonna be doing. I don't think anyone, most people probably don't care. To the point where if they say they're gonna raise prices, it's like, okay, cool. Kind of expected that everybody's raising prices. But even if they don't and they just take whatever they can, it's gonna be a long time before you get those cards back. A long time before you get those cards back. They were more backlogged than PSA. And what I mean by that is the times that you received the cards back took longer than PSA. And they got they received less cards. So they're not really handling the man. They still have an issue with the fake slabs for BGS. So they are very slow and they're trying to figure things out. Um, so you still have HGA, which I think is a viable option. HGA is an excellent option. However, there's only a small amount of slots for that. Uh, I believe it's 5,000. I believe they're increasing incrementally, which is smart to do. However, they're going through a lot of issues when it comes to grading cards correctly. So there are a lot of cards that are going to be graded, you know, that would be a PSA 8, get maybe a HDA 9.5 or something like that. So you see more issues with this. And also they're just not, they're, they're too small of a company. And they're just not equipped to handle this. I believe today, is the day they're accepting submissions and their site is gonna crash. So people are gonna be trying to go in and their site is gonna, the site is gonna crash and they're gonna miss out. Um, the people who are able to get in will be able to get their cars at an extreme premium, especially if it's like the 2020 Prism, uh, Prism uh, one of one card for LeBron James or the goal for Anthony Edwards or LaMelo Ball that was pulled the other day. Those cards get an HDA with the color colored slabs and still a new company. It's going to go very well once they get those cards. They can do the highest submission price and get it back in a short amount of time. And they can sell that for extremely high premium. Whoever buys that may be left holding the bag, but the seller is gonna be in a huge advantage. However, uh, it's really not worth your time. The other card grading company is CSG. Um, they are probably gonna raise prices as well. That's not gonna be a surprise. If they raise prices, that's what you expect. Honestly, if you're planning to grade with them, you need to get on that now because it just makes sense for all the companies to raise their grading prices because there's gonna be so much demand and they don't wanna be like SGC last year where people are looking for alternative grading companies and because of backlogs, everybody started going to SGC because they were making times and they was like, oh, this is a good flip or a, a good short-term investment. 
but it's not something I want to necessarily have long term or they're coming up and it's cheap now, but it's going to be really expensive. So I'm going to hold this long term. Um, but then it took so long to get their cards back that people were like, no, I'm not going to bother with this grading company. I'm just going to go back to PSA and I just rather wait um, the time than deal with this company because it's going to take forever and they're not as well known. So, and it's not selling as high of a price and it actually dropped the overall price compared to PSA uh, for their cars because SGC 10 sell for half of a PSA 10. Um, and they're nine fives, which is still mint condition sells for honestly about half of a BGS nine five and BGS nine fives have definitely taken a hit to as well. So that, that's one of the issues that you're going to have with CSG most likely. And they're probably going to raise their prices to prevent them just being slammed. Um, and I believe SGC is a reputable company because they they are CGC that grades comic books. So it makes sense to look at other grading companies. But I think most people are going to look at, hey, I'm just going to wait for PSA in July. Unless it's something where they're planning to sell within the next five or six months. That's the only way I really see people trying to get into other grading companies with higher prices. So there's going to be more news. I'm going to keep up with it and update you guys on other things to come. But also CSG will probably have the same issue. Um, and then I believe some other French grading companies people will try to get into, but I don't think they're gonna, their cars are going to sell as much as at all. So that's really the news as far as that. And what you will expect from PSA is as time goes on, so probably in the next few weeks or next month, Express is going to be available again once they start getting through some of the backlog and then it's going to go in that order until you get to value. And I believe that the price hikes are not permanent. Uh, I believe it's once they get a better control of the grading, then we're going to have more, they're going to have more cars. They're going to get more efficient with it and things will, the price will go down. Um, but then that creates more supply, which will actually be an issue. It may be a false sense of confidence and then that's definitely how you know we're, we've entered more in a junk slab era versus a junk wax era.